Moose, tell me where we're off to. So I am really excited today because five years ago I explored this bit of coastline and I found this huge rock boulder which was trapped in amongst other scraggy rocks like these ones. This was a spherical boulder and I have not been back for five years but I always remembered where it was. So today we're going back with a camera and we're going to take some pictures to put on YouTube which is so exciting. And we're hoping we're going to get there and the tide's not too high and actually going to be washing in at this rock so we'll be able to see it. Oh, Let's go. sounds exciting. Let's do it. With this brow and look down, and this is how I first saw it all those five years ago, coming down here. And I'm not sure, can you see in there that little circle? So there it is. Maria, can you take the camera? I'm just going to go down. In there it is. Check that out. That is so cool. Looking at where the water rushes up amongst these rocks. Here, down to the level of the sea. Go over this rock and if you look, there it is. And there's the runner bashed around, a bit damaged, but there's the rock. Wow, it's so cool. I love it. Can you imagine all those years that ball bouncing up around there but originally being square and having its corners knocked off and slowly becoming more spherical. So cool. I also wonder how many people have actually seen this. How many people? Because it's pretty hard to find. Climb right down to the rock now and get a really close look. And hopefully, this wave is not going to come in as I'm down here. I'm sat where this boulder comes rushing in, and you can see the water comes from over there. Whoa, scary! That is art made by nature.